Hi friends, welcome to our channel Be a Wise Investor. Please note, I am not a SEBI registered investment advisor. Contents of this video are for information purpose only. All investments are subject to market risk. If you are not understanding the risk or not ready to face the risk, please avoid stock market investment. We are very much thankful to you all who have shared, supported and subscribed our channel Be a Wise Investor. Please like, share and subscribe this channel. Good evening friends. Sensex crossed 61,000 and closed at 61,045.74. A gain of 390 points. Nifty closed at 18,165.30. A gain of 112 points. Bank Nifty closed at 42,458. A gain of 223 points. Bharti Airtel informed that Airtel 5G Plus is now live in 5 cities of Delhi in NCR. Thomas Cook board will meet on 2nd February to consider and approve Q3 result. Delivery launches delivery training and recruitment program to expand career opportunities in logistics. Jubilant Foodworks has announced the launch of the first restaurant of the iconic US fried chicken brand Popeyes in Chennai. Krishna Diagnostics has operationalized 24 CT scanners, 6 MRI machines, 30 pathology labs including one referral lab and 95 collection centers in the state of Punjab. Deep Industries Board will meet on 6th February to consider and approve Q3 result and also to consider subdivision and stock split of equity shares. Indian Metal and Ferro Alloys Board will meet on 30th January to consider and approve Q3 result. NDPC Board will meet on 20th January to consider and approve Q3 result and also to consider interim dividend and fixed record date as 4th, Jan 4th February for the purpose of interim dividend. Coop Surat Board will approve, sorry, Board approved raising further capital by rights issue not exceeding 50 crores. Muthut Capital Services Board has approved to create perfection of security to 1000 debentures of face value 10 each issued on 6th October 2022 and thereby these bonds will become secured. Salasab Techno Engineering has secured a letter of intent from Nepal Electricity Authority worth 153 crores. Sriji Trans Logistics has recently backed Uflex Limited as a new client in the full truck load segment. Strides has received establishment inspection report from USFDA specific to drug device combination products to be commercialized at Stellis flagship facility in Bengaluru. ESMA trip board will meet on 24 January to consider the proposal of acquisition. Maruti Susihi has recalled 17,362 vehicles manufactured between 8th December 2022 to 12th January 2023 to inspect and replace airbag controllers. Infosys ranked in the top 3 IT service brands in the world among the 150 top most valued brands. PDS Limited announced the opening of a centralized cutting plant in the Sri Lankan subsidiary Norlanga located in Malwana. Orissa Bengal Carrier Limited has entered into a contract transportation of 24,000 tons of materials of Sunflag Iron and Steel Company. MIC Electronics has been awarded a tender for Rs. 56.58 lakhs from Jabalpur Division of Western Central Railway. Lupin announced the launch of Combination of drugs under two brand names, Valandos and Arnipin, for patients with heart failure conditions. BPCL board will meet on 30th January to consider and approve Q3 result. Coal India board will meet on 31st January to consider Q3 result and declare second interim dividend and fixed 8th February as record date for the purpose of interim dividend. Cabinet approved 1,300 crore to procure additional electronic voting machines from BHEL and Electronic Corporation of India. Adani Enterprises IPO will be opening on 27th January and close on 31st January. It is partly paid basis only. 
oil market faces a bigger surplus even as china reopens election commission announced poll dates for tripura as 16th february and meghalaya and nagaland as 27th february 2023 surya roshni limited announced an interim dividend of rupees 3 per share and fixed 27th january as record date mothers and sumi wearing india board will meet on 7th february to consider and approve q3 result Kajaria Ceramics Board will meet on 20th January to consider Q3 result and to declare an interim dividend. Brand Concepts Limited has opened one more store in the name of Bagline in Bengaluru. GP Petroleum announced its participation at Southeast Asia's biggest machine tool exhibition Imtex from January 19th to 25th 2023. CCL products has declared an interim dividend of rupees 3 per share and fixed record date as 31st January. Indra Prastha Gas Limited board board will be meeting on 25th January to consider and approve Q3 result. DLF board also will meet on 25th January to consider and approve Q3 result. Indigrid INVIT board will meet on 25th January to consider distribution of distribution to unit holders. Persistent system has declared an and the interim dividend of rupees 28 per share and fixed 27th January as record date. TCS Europe listed 2023 top employer by top employees institute. Wipro announced the opening of its newest Wipro AWS launch pad center in Toronto, Canada. Star Housing Finance Board will meet on 24th January to consider and approve Q3 result. Next Digital Board will meet on 31st January to consider and approve Q3 result. Adani Enterprises has decided a floor price of 3112 per share and approved discount of rupees 64 per share for retail individual investors. The cap price has been fixed 3276 per share for all the categories of investors. Rallies India announced quarterly results current market price 245.50 market capitalization 4774 crores total revenue 632 and last quarter it was 953 and last year the same quarter 634 9 month period 2453 last 9 month 2000, 2116 operating profit 29.97 crores last quarter it was 95.41 crores and last year same quarter 53.06 for 9 month period 215.7 crores and last 9 month period 238.7 crores Net profit 22.55 crores. Last quarter it was 71.05, and last year the same quarter 39.55 crores. For nine month period it is 161 crores, and last year nine month period 178 crores. EPS 1.16. Last quarter it was 3.65, and last year same period 2.03. And last nine sir nine month period 8.28, and last year nine month period 9.17. Persistent Systems announced the quarterly results today. Current market price 3,949.60. The company announced an interim dividend of 28 rupees per share. Market capital 30,358 crore crores. Total revenue for this quarter 2,202 crores and last quarter it was 2,057 crores. And last year the same period it was 1,522 crores. For the nine month period it was 6,158 crores and last nine month period it was 4,175 crores. Operating profit 323 crores and last quarter is 296 crores and last year 236 crores. For nine month period 900 crores and last year nine month period 657 crores. A net profit to 238 crores and last quarter it was 220 and last year the same period 176 crores. For nine month period it was 670 crores and last year nine month period 489 crores. EPS 31.14. Last quarter it was 28.79 and last year same period 23.08. Nine month period 87.61 and last year nine month period 64.04. PSP project runs quarterly results current market price 698.30 market capital 2512 total revenue 507 last quarter it was 362 and last year same period 495 nine month period 1227 crores and last nine month 1210 crores operating profit 48 crores and last quarter it was 29 crores and last year same period 66 crores And nine month period, one hundred and seventeen crores against last nine month period of one hundred and forty eight crores. Net profit thirty five crores and last quarter twenty one and last year same period fifty crores. 
and 9 month period 86 crores and last year 9 month period 111 crores. EPS 9.82 as against last quarter's 5.98 and last year's 13.92. 9 month period 23.87 and last year 9 month period 30.95. CCL products announced an interim dividend of 3 rupees per share. Current market price 517.55. Market capital 6928 crores. Total revenue for this quarter 536 crores and last quarter it was 507 crores and last year same period 524 crores. For 9 month period it was 1552 crores as against last year 9 month of 1087 crores. Operating profit 465 crores as against last quarter's 434 crores and last year's 349 crores. For 9 month period it is 1342 crores and last year 9 month period 893 crores. Net profit 73 crores as against last quarter's 58 crores and last year's 58 crores. 9 month period 210 crores as against last year 9 month 193 crores. EPS 5.49 and last quarter 4.34 and last year's 4.4. 9 month period 13.8 and last year 9 month period 11.4. Vinyl India Limited announced quarterly results today. Current market price 457.30. Today it entered in the lower circuit. Market capital 840 crores. Total revenue much reduced 271 crores as against last quarter's 325 and last year's uh, same quarter's 333 crores. For 9 month period it was 907 crores as against last 9 month period of 746 crores. Operating profit 10.01 crores as against last quarter's 13.39 and last year's 14.22 crores. For 9 month period it is 37.98 crores as against last year 9 month period 27.29 crores. Net profit is 7.37 crores as against last quarter's 10.05 crores and last year's 10.62 crores. For 9 month period it is 28.34 crores as against 9 month period of last year's 20.36 crores. EPS 4.03 as against last quarter's 5.49 and last year's 5.80. For 9 month period it is 5.15.49 as against last year 9 month periods 11.13. Aurum PropTech announced quarterly results today, current market price 118 and market capital 857 crores. Total revenue for this quarter is 41.15 and last year quarter it was 30.84 and last year same period 8.74. For 9 month period it is 8.71, 87.71 and last year's 9 month period 11.42. Operating profit is loss for this quarter is 13.42 and last quarter it was 10.39 and uh, last okay, year, uh, last year, same quarter is 2.86 loss. And 9 month period loss is 36.23 crores as against last year 9 month period is 8.23 crores loss. Net loss also 10.94 crores as against last quarter 10.82 crores and last year same period is 2.86 crores. For 9 month period it is 30.48 crores as against last year 9 month period 6.78 crores. EPS loss 2.17 as against last quarter's loss of 2.12 and last year's loss of 0.77. On for 9 month period it is 6.07 loss as against last year's 9 month period 2.06 loss. Went India Limited announced quarterly research today. Current market price 8085. Market capital 1607 crores. Total revenue 53 crores as against last quarter's 53 crores. Last year same period 42 crores. Again 9 month period total revenues 155 crores as against last year's 9 month period 134 crores. Operating profit it is 13.45 as against last quarter's 13.40 and last year same quarter's 7.78. 9 month period operating profit is 36.55 crores as against last year 9 month period 26.63 crores. 10 pro 10 net profit is 10.07 crores as against last quarter's 10 crores as against last year's same quarter's 5.56 crores. For 9 month period 27.3 crores as against last year 9 month period 19.6 crores. EPS for this quarter is 15.31 as against last quarter's 50 and last year's 27.82. For 9 month period it is 136.5 crores as against last year 9 month 98 crores. Surya Roshni Limited Current market price 606.40, market capital 3238. Total revenue for this quarter is 2022 as against last quarter's 1986 crores as in last year's same quarter's 2031 crores. For 9 month period it is 5849 crores as against last year's 9 month period 5433 crores. Operating profit 123 crores as against last quarter's 91 crores and last year's same period's 55 crores. For 9 month period it is 244 crores as against last year's 
165 crores. Net profit 90 crores as against last quarter 68 crores and last year same period 40 crores. 9 month period is 180 crores as against last year's 9 month period 122 crores. EPS 16.48 as against last quarter 12.50 and last year 7.44. For 9 month period it is 33.07 as against last year's 9 month period is 22.45. Indus in bank announced the quarterly results after the market hours are over. Current market price 1223 and market capital 94,961 crores. Total revenue 11,534 crores as against last quarter's 10,719 crores. Last year same quarter it was 9,614 crores. For 9 month period revenue is 32,366 crores as against last year 9 month period is 28,404 crores. Operating profit for this quarter 3,686 crores as against last quarter's 3,544 crores as against last year's same quarter's 3,312 crores. 9 month period it is 10,662 crores as against last year's 9,645 crores. Net profit 1,964 crores as against last quarter's 1,000 805 crores and last year same periods 1242 crores. 9 month period net profit is 5400 crores as against last year's 9 month period 3404 crores. EPS for the uh, this quarter is 25.29 and last quarter it is 23.26 and last year same period 16.01. For 9, 9 month period it is 69.58 as against last year 9 month period 43.99. Gross in pay is 2.06 as against last quarter's 2.11 and last year's same period is 2.48. Net in pay is 0.62 as against last quarter's 0.61 and last year's same quarter's 0.71. Central Bank of India announced quarterly results today. Current market price 32.35. Market capital 28,170 crores. Total revenue for this quarter 7,666 crores. Last quarter it was 7,093 crores and last year same quarter 6,551 crores. For 9 month period it is 21,146 crores as against last quarter's 19,426 crores. Operating profit 1,819 crores. Last quarter is 1,757 crores and last year same period 1,262 crores. For 9 month period it is 4,809 crores as against last year 9 month period as 3,955 crores. Net profit it is 4,473 crores. Last quarter it is 341 and last year same period. 282 crores. 9 month period it is 1088 crores as against last year's 734 crores. EPS 0.55 for this quarter and last quarter is 0.39 and last year same period 0.33. EPS for 9 month period is 1.25 as against last year's 0.91. Gross MPA 8.83 percentage as last quarter it was 9.64 percentage and last year's same period it was 15.10 percentage. Net NP is 2.09 percentage as against last quarter's 2.95 and last year's same quarter's 4.37. Notable 50 shares which reached 52 way high today are fourth dime, fourth dimension, Anandraj, Atul Auto, Edelweiss Financial Services, IDFC, IEL, IAFL Finance, Landmark Cars, Lassen and Tubro, Man Aluminium, Nelcast, Rico Auto, RK Forge, Sal Steel, Shraddha Infro, Sula Vineyards, Surya Roshni, TVC Electronics, Usha Martin, etc. Notable shares which reached 52 week low today are AGS Tra, Trans Logistics, Balaji Amins, Clarion Chemicals, Glan Pharma, Hananpa, ICDS Indus Tower, Jindal Poly, Krishna Diagnostics, Nureka, Naika, etc. Today's most active stocks in terms of volume are S Bank followed by Zomato and in terms of value are HDFC Bank followed by Reliance. Today in NSE 82 shares reached upper circuit and 28 shares reached lower circuit and 17 shares reached both upper as well as lower circuit. Notable shares which reached upper circuit today are fourth dimension, Akshar, Andhra Cement, Atlanta, DB Realty, FACT, Global, IEL, Nagarjuna Fertilizers, Palred Technology, Patanjali, PFS, PTC, Salasar Technology Engineering, Shraddha Info, 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 Infotech, SKI Make Products, Vinny Overseas, etc. Notable shares which reach the lower band today are Ballarpur Indices, Indovin, Infomedia, Jet Airways, MPL Infra, Para Cables, Orcom, Shaw Allies, Vinyl India, etc. Top 5 gainers in Nifty 50 today are Hindalco gained 2.93 percentage, Tata Steel gained 2.39 percentage, Larson and Tubro gained 2.35 percentage, UPL gained 1.92 percentage, and Wipro gained 1.79 percentage. 
top 5 losers in nifty 50 today are tata motors lost 1.57 percentage adani enterprises lost 1.50 percentage hdfc life lost 1.49 percentage ultra tech cement lost 1.33 percentage bpcl lost 1.572 percentage FIS are net sellers today to the tune of 319.23 crores, whereas DIS are net buyers today to the tune of 1225.96 crores. These all are the information available with me now for sharing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you find this useful, please like the video, share it with your friends and relatives and subscribe the video please.